30 up bucks. and running. Yep, 20 wow. bucks right through the mountain. Uh, very cool, but it's kind of, I don't know, it's a little scary. <laughs> it is, yeah. I went to a roller coaster in Juarez. Like, those are just so fast. I hope this one's like not too crazy. Yeah, but the it loops. Looks pretty fun, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, gotta make it out there. <laughs> now, this weekend, stay indoors as much as possible here in El Paso because we are just looking extremely, extremely hot. So, heat advisor is still in effect. That's gonna be through Sunday night. Now, Sunday night through Tuesday night, now we're talking about excessive heat watch. So, 110 degrees or above in some areas so make sure you're also not leaving kids and pets unattended in vehicles they get hot very very quickly make sure you're drinking that water right so as far as triple digits we've got an eight so far this year seven of them have been back to back and our hottest day so far this year was yesterday 107 degrees june 22nd today 105 i'll take it i'll take it because it's lower right so 106 in juarez 104 in las cruces still extremely hot though as far as this morning here Here's what it looks like on the east side, 79 degrees in Chaparral, 73 in Tornillo, 70 in Del City. On the west side, also 79 degrees, so very hot morning. Now, as far as winds, they are calm right now, but it does seem like winds will be picking up pretty early for today. As soon as 9 a.m., we're going to be seeing 23 mile per hour gusts. Peak of those winds will be around 4 o'clock at 33 mile per hour gusts. So very windy day for today, another round of hot winds as for the next 9 hours. Hours, we will be seeing those very clear skies for today, warming up to the 90s very, very quickly as soon as 10 a.m. And then we'll reach those triple digits by 3 o'clock. So here's what's going on. We got extremely hot temperatures in West Texas right now, south of New Mexico, parts of Arizona. We're also looking very dry, which is not a good combination. Dryness plus heat plus winds. We could potentially have some fire weather, so avoid any kind of grilling, any kind of barbecues, please, this weekend. Keep your Sunday fun days indoors. As far as storms, we're only tracking storms right now in the Texas Panhandle, which is pretty good because Austin was getting some serious humidity. Now, as far as the nine-day forecast, so check out Sunday, 108 degrees on Sunday, 109 on Monday. Mondays weren't bad enough as it is. Uh, 110 and Tuesday, 108 on Wednesday. Overnight lows getting as hot as 83 degrees now. Not a good day.